Hey, this is Mike with First Updates Now with the 2019 Houston Championship here with 2046 Bear Metal here in the Hopper Division. We have Jacob, Shane, uh, Matt, and Zoe with us here. Uh, District Pacific Northwest District Champions just a couple weekends ago. So awesome, guys. You're ranked 12th in the FRC Top 25. Jacob, we'd love to talk about your robot here. I think you're going to talk to us a little bit about your climb, correct? All right. Thank you. Yes. Uh, and our front of our robot and our back of robot is what makes up the Klein. We have the utility arm in the front, which was designed very specifically to have the geometry that would allow us to push all the way down as well as collect cargo. In the back, we have our secondary lift, which is supporting the first and supporting itself. It's able to go down in 1.1 seconds along with the utility arm and was designed very specifically so that it would just reach to the bottom and lay us to the right height. Awesome. So Shane, you're the driver for the robot here. So first I'd like you to talk to us kind of about defense and how it's being played this year and how you guys have had to adapt through that. And then you can take us through your subsystem as well. Yeah, so defense is interesting. Uh, we faced at our first comp, we ended up finishing a rocket by ourselves. And after that point, we've kind of had a target on our back in the PNW. And so every single district event after that, we've taken defense on. And one thing we've really learned is a lot of bots like Jack and the Bot and such have tried to move around defense because there's uh, adaptive swerve drive. We found that with our traction wheels and our high powered gearbox, we can push through defense or be able to spin around and maneuver around them. But defense has definitely taken a toll on us this year. And then what else would you like to tell us about your robot too? Um, one thing about our robot is our lift capabilities and our ability to score on the rocket. Uh, with the defense that we've had, we found that when we are undefended, we are able to be able to finish the rocket with about 50, 60 seconds left and then be able to go and put three or four pieces in the cargo ship and then climb in about two seconds. Now, Matt, we're going to talk a little bit about fab on the robot this year, so um, fabrication. So can you tell us a little bit about what that's been like for your team? So this year, we got a new machine, we got a new Haas mill, so that's been really helpful and really key to us. But one of the coolest things on bare metal is that we do all of our fabrication in-house by students. So what I do is I teach the students over eight weeks how to run a mill and lathe, how to run the CNC's, and how to do the cam tool pathing. So every part that you see on here that's powder coated, we'll machine it, then we'll powder coat it at our high school, which has been a really cool experience. So just a couple of parts that I think are pretty cool that people might want to see is this is the bearing, one of the bearing blocks that powers our carts. So it holds on two rollers on the lift right here. So we have about 40 of them and we machine them in three operations and they're a pretty neat part that we didn't, f we didn't find on the market so we made it ourselves. And yeah, how great is that, that you guys can do everything in-house, you don't have to wait on return times and all that kind of stuff, so that's that's really great. And Zoe, um, we're going to talk a little bit about the intake here, and uh, so it sounds like you guys went through some changes at um, at District Champions, at the District Championship, I'm going to just sneak right through the camera here, and so you can kind of tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so at our district events, we were using this, and so it was a top-bottom collector, and so it was just magnetically actuated. Uh, we found that with this one, it was losing the hatches pretty easily, so we decided to switch to an inside roller. So on this one, it's also pneumatically actuated, and so the ball, it'll open up for the ball mode and then close for hatches, and then it just spins onto it. And so it'll just hit like this. Um, these poles back here keep it from getting knocked off on the side like that. And we found that it's really quick to pick up, really easy to release. So we really enjoy it, and we're glad that we did the switch. Yeah, that's um, a similar concept, but executed differently, and that's um, really great to see. So I just want to thank Bear Metal for taking the time to speak with us today. Uh, good luck in Hopper, and I uh, hope to see you go, go really far in the competition. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.